Welcome to DIY Easy Crafts and BirdKnifeMaking.com. Today we're going to take a look at how to greatly enhance the appearance of your finished knife making projects by making segmented or hybrid knife scales. So for this particular project I used ironwood combined with an acrylic pen blank. These pen blank uh, materials come in a variety of different colors and they can really be used nicely in coordination with a, a, a bunch of different woods or other materials that make very dynamic knife handles. I started this project by running over to my friend Jason Northgard's shop. Uh, he sliced uh, the acrylic material uh, for me on his table saw. First sliced them into um, pieces that were about three-eighths thick and then he, he cut those down to size for me a little bit more. Acrylic is affordable, it glues well, it polishes very easily, and it, it really um, you know, can be matched up with a, a variety of different materials. In this case, like I said before, I'm using uh, ironwood, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to add black liners on either side of this uh, orange and black acrylic insert. I'm using CA glue. Now this is the thin CA. I'm applying a little bit of glue uh, to the first piece of the ironwood as well as the um, acrylic segment. And then I'm just going to press these two together. And you have to hold them for about 30 seconds. I do this on a flat surface with parchment paper. Parchment paper uh, prevents or greatly reduces uh, the glue from adhering what you're working on to the uh, to the works to the flat surface not a hundred percent you put too much glue on it it will glue itself to the parchment paper then I'm going to repeat the process with the uh, next uh, piece of the black uh, liner or spacer material as well as the final piece of the ironwood now all of these pieces you know the, the two pieces of ironwood as well as that piece of acrylic they have to be perfectly flat now I did them on a disc grinder. I just you just have to make sure that they're flat and, and that they're gonna the fit is good. I chopped the angle just on a chop saw. I believe these were set at 30 degrees, and then I went over to an angle grinder um, with a 90 degree flat table, and I just made sure that each piece was perfectly flat. The CA glue is a very fast drying glue. You don't need a tremendous amount of glue, you just gotta cover the entire surface. You have to hold it together for about 30 or 40 seconds. Um, it's not completely cured at that time, at that point, but it's, it should be cured to the, to the amount that you could separate it from the parchment paper and begin prepping it for the next segment to be glued on. So to make a set of these really doesn't take long at all probably spent more time uh, just playing with the different uh, colors of the acrylic uh, and the different uh, types of wood that I had available and, and seeing what combinations might look best than I did actually gluing them together. Once all of the segments are glued together, I do add a little bit of additional uh, CA glue. This is this, the thin CA glue, as I mentioned before. So when you, when you put another uh, drop in each one of the seams, it will seep down into any voids if there are any. And then you really want to set those aside uh, for at least, you know, three, four, five minutes and let that glue really harden up. Now at that point, you can use a coarse grit uh, belt on a belt grinder and uh, get rid of all the, the extra material you know, I had the, the liners were a little bit too wide, the, the insert was, was too thick. You just grind that all down on the belt grinder. And then once that's done, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually glue uh, with epoxy a, a liner onto the back side of these. And it will be that liner epoxied to all of the segments that really gives this the strength. Uh, then you attach it to your knife just like you would any other set of knife scales. A very easy way 
to really improve the final product. Or visually improve the final product. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, I ask that you please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Also, like to invite you to our Facebook group, Knives and Knife Making. And by all means, uh, please check out our book, Introduction to Knife Making, uh, that J Jason Northgard and I put out last year. Thank you very much.